There are tons of ways to get the data from Excel worksheet. This one might be not so obvious. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the Excel data using SQL in VBA. Yes, I'm going to mix some SQL with VBA and this is better than you might think. But before that, let's start with a nice and sweet reminder about list object approach uh, somewhere on the screen. Really cool and quite easy alternative among such as SQL range or arrays. But I think it is time to go level up and use SQL. Personally, it helped me with big and heavy Excel files, which struggles even with opening. I'm not even mentioning um, uh, any kind of loops on the data or anything like that. Project references. Now let's remind ourselves the Microsoft SQL Server connection because needed reference will be the same here, one of the Microsoft ActiveX data object library. In my case, it's 6.1 version. Sample data. To have reproductible results, we'll take once again financial sample data from Microsoft documentation site, just like in the previous video. The link to the data will be in the description. The exercise. To be able to compare the results of approaches, I mean the results should be the same as in list object method, take the same order as last time. Filter out the sample data by specified country and specified manufacturing price. The function. Assuming that we already know that we will need to check the amount of rows for two sets of specified parameters, let's create a function for that. The creation of this function can be broken down into three parts. SQL string query, connection query and ADODB record set. SQL string query. In a simple words, just write select query as you do in SQL as string variable. So select the amount of the rows of the country column from the sample data where the manufacturing price is higher than the minimum manufacturing price and the country is equal to given country. This time, all the calculations are on the SQL site. The VBA will get the final result, what I exactly need in the end. Connection string. The connection string can be taken from the external site with the connection strings. There are tons of examples. Uh, take the one which fits the situation and my looks like this the Microsoft Ace OLEDB 16.0 with the extended properties Excel 12, XML with the headers and IMX equals one. ADODB record set. Now some constants. Set ADODB record set and create the query using open function with parameters. SQL string query, connection string, and constants. Function return. The outcome will be one dimensional, one column, and have only one row. That's why you don't have to move to the first record and you can just take the value from the first, which means zero, field. Putting all together the function will look like this and the function call to get the results for example in immediate window.
The final results of the call are the same as in the previous list object video. And this was how to get the Excel data using SQL query in VBA. This is really simple, isn't it? And really, really fast, especially in case of the bigger data. This time, the SQL query was quite complex, but in the next video, I will show you how to manipulate data looping through record sets and get the data you need. If you like this video, please leave a like down below. And if you want to be updated about my latest uploads, please hit that subscribe button. I really, really appreciate that. Also, I invite you to my website, simplexlvba.com and my Facebook profile. Thank you for watching and see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.